well, welcome back. This is Volumi playing Guild Wars 2 again. Uh, do -do -do. And what I did is I walked to the Fields of Ruin because I had no idea how to get there. So what I did is I went to the Blaze Ridge Steps. And <coughs> the first thing I did is go to this waypoint and then walk all the way downwards towards this point, the Twin Sister Waypoint, to go into the Helcor Meadows. And why did I do that? Well, the Field of Ruin event completer is here today. And it's also an area that I haven't finished yet. So it's two things at once. It's a new area for me. I haven't been here before. And I think it's nice to uh, take a look in this area and see what we can find. And what kind of e adventures we can do here. Getting all the waypoints was uh, on the way towards here was uh, interesting because uh, every waypoint gave me 1500 experience. So in that in itself was uh, rewarding. And now let's just get the next level. Let's get to level 55. Uh, last episode we got the highest level that I uh, ever gotten with a character yet in Guild Wars 2 without dying. I never liked to play the game beyond... Um, play a character beyond a death. I just don't like that. And now here I am going uh, into the fields of ruin. And now I'm actually here doing uh, doing level 54 towards level 55 and that is uh, I like it I like that fact we can also use uh, iron ore again because we used up iron ore the last run it was uh, something we used for our skill So it was good we did that. It was actually good we did that. Banner of Strength. I think someone is clearing up the area here. Just wanting to get the uh, the waypoint. Renegade battle plans. Well, let's get it. Gold ore. Well, that's interesting. I haven't found any gold yet. Portobello mushrooms. That's different than the one I have. I think it's a good thing that I got the... Um, dark Steel. Or miners because with those I can make uh, the gold ore into something else I couldn't uh, these give you uh, a lot of experience so that's uh, good more battle plans let's pick those two up as well don't know how far I'm going to get in this area because uh, Because I don't know, no, not the event completer I mean, because I don't know uh, any uh, waypoints here. You need to have some waypoints to actually do something. Well, if I can help myself and help the other person out by just uh, killing a bunch of these guys, then uh, yeah, 
I'm in. Because I want to get out of here alive, of course. Well, this is an event. <laughs> we just stand here and we're in the middle of one, so that's good. Need to get my uh, my kills in, just to get enough experience out of this one to get the quest as well. Oh, the ringleader did not have uh, plans. That's annoying. Uh, there's plans. Let's get the battle plans because we need the battle plans. I like the fact that there's a big group here. That means that uh, the group is probably on the prowl, trying to get more. Trying to get more um, and stuff done. This is the Char General. There we go. We got it done. Didn't drop anything. Trying to get my I don't want to stay in this cave by myself, so let's not do that and just get out of here. And if there is anyone outside that I can get a kill in, then yes, I do want those because these are going to count towards the quest as well. There we go. And the rest of them, yeah, well, I don't have... I don't have the waypoints, so... Going after them is going to be uh, just a little bit too much for me. There we go. Got that done. 180. So this is this is nice swords. That guy has got some, he's got some nice gear. For me, it's more interesting to just get the next waypoint. And it's right over there. It's with the trees. I wonder if I can cut those trees with um, the gathering tools I have right now. They might not be high enough level. Uh, I do get seasoned wood logs. Uh, they s these can still be used, so that's good. Let's deposit the stuff that we don't need. The battle plans, yeah, just destroy them. We don't need them anymore. More trees. Also some young herbs. Hyenas normally run around in packs, so I wonder why there was only one. But that's real life, of course, that's not the game. So let's not mix those two up. The young herbs are on top of those, so I can't get to it. I can show the rest of the map, or something more of the map, reveal a little bit of the map. There we go. What is this? Okay, this looks pretty. This is water. 
Salt Sentinel Grizzle Tooth, yeah. Destroy branded creatures, nests, and crystal cr uh, clusters. Branded earth elementals, yes. Crystal cr clusters, don't know what those are. I do know I can destroy these guys and get experience for that towards the quest. Well, this sentinel seems to be uh, downed. Let's help him out. I don't see any crystal uh, crystal things I can uh, do. There's another waypoint over there. That'll be interesting. These are all kinds of creatures. Uh, multiple kinds of uh, animals that you can uh, kill. Devourers. But also other kinds of uh, animals. Well, there's something on top there that I may want to see. Torchmaster. Nice. Well, up here is at least one point of interest. I see a vista, even. The vista, vista must be up top somewhere, probably. I think it's there, but... Don't know. This guy's a merchant. Sell the junk that I got. And now let's take a look at what I have. Uh, the seasoned wood planks. Those all... Go into the... Me into my inventory. These already have three extra added effects. That's more than I have. Wonder how long it will take before I get an item, a sword, or a weapon. It has three types of effects. 430 to 504. It's way better than the one I have in strength. But it doesn't have power. So I am going to just sell it. It doesn't give me that much either. Need to take my food. Don't forget that. Let's see where that vista is. Probably up here somewhere. Stairs, yes. Here it is. And you can take a look over this area. Oh, you only get to see the tower. Well, that's disappointing. I thought it might give me uh, an overlook over the entire area, but... It seems it just gives a look... At the tower itself. Not that it's not pretty. I expected something more. Well, let's go back down then. And these are going to give me new experience towards my quest.
Nice. Yes. And got another one done. Piles of uh, piles of radiant dust and jagged metal. Jagged metal gives iron ore. That's great. I can use both of those. Am I going to... Yeah, why not? I'm just going to swim towards the other side. And let's take a look on the water as well. Branded fish. Looks nice. The coloring is a little bit... Uh, a little bit dark, but it still looks nice. Champion Strange Crystal. Interesting. I didn't see a crystal, I just saw a fish. Basically. I'm just going over this area and not really looking at what kind of um, story there is behind this area. I haven't done that really at all. I think my uh, personal story will, um, will give me a little bit more insight into that. We'll be doing more of that uh, later on. Don't exactly know when I'm going to continue those. What I do have right now is... something nice going on. And I'd like to keep that going first before I go uh, do something else water sampler must be part of the quest why else would you have something like this here more water samplers let's just turn those things on seems that everyone is just a lazy bum not turning those things on. Well, this is the quest in this area. And there is a waypoint uh, right up there. So I'm first going to revive the Sentinel and then move up there. Move up here, that is. On the map. Right above the heart. An experimental capacitor. It's something that's used for quests. Oh, and you got a branded spark. So if you activate some of them, then you might actually get something of a creature out of there. And that means double the experience. Well, you can't go through here. Must be over here somewhere. There we go. Here it is. I walked right past it and didn't even look. Do you have more capacitors over here or not? A mortar shell. A scholar. Well, someone's doing their experiments over here. My junk again. Nice. Uh, ah, another water sampler. Let's 
turn that one on. And another one over here. Don't see many more of those capacitors. Found one. No more. Must be more. Well, let's just go down this hill then, and... Let's see what else we can find. Another experimental capacitor. Let's see if something comes out. Yes. Another spark. All of these give experience towards the quest. Another water sampler. It at least means that I'm still in the area that uh, that has the quest in it. Well, let's get this water sampler going. be one more spark coming out of this. I don't mind it. Because it's probably going to be the last last one. Maybe two. Nope. He was the last one. And that finishes another quest. Um let's see, I'm I'm going haphazard across this map. Let's bring some order into that. Um, I can move downwards. Yeah, I can still move downwards and then towards the east. Let's see if I can avoid some of these uh, branded sparks. Probably not this one, so I'm just going to get rid of that one. Now let's move downwards, and then, yes, now we're on the way, right towards the waypoint, and with that, probably towards the next heart. And it's going to give me, yes, the new waypoint. Done. Well, I'm standing right on top of a mining node. Ah, the mining node is right above me, and not here. This looks to be some sort of cave. We're all doing something with war. A strong male chess piece can can be sold. The scrap are both going to be revined, and that means that I got more gold now. The higher the characters are, the higher the drop is of the salvage material as well, and that makes salvaging of those materials uh, more interesting. Alright, back to the original goal. Let's go down and let's go east. Because we we're going for the point of interest that's over there. Let's see if I can actually reach it without it being uh, a big risk. Well, it must be in the center of that. Because why not? It has a lot of 
a lot of guards. So there must be something interesting that they're guarding here. Well, it does have some uh, merchants. Here we go, so the merchants are actually good. I'm just gonna leave this be. Oh, didn't want to push that button. Alright, let's go. We are in the middle of the camp and there goes another 800 in experience. What do you sell? You sell dark steel stuff. And in my equipment I have enough of all. Dark steel, steel and steel. And steel is still accepted in this area. There we go. We gained a level. That's level 55. Still no death, so still good. Here's a tree. I can use these trees because I don't have many of these uh, tree stumps of, of the material that can be revined in, uh, in the crafting skills. So I can still use a lot of these materials. It's not like the beginning materials where I have a lot of them. Because I've done the beginning parts of the world that many times. And another waypoint. 1498 in experience. Uh, and let's get our bearings again. Well, this seems to be a nice place to go. Uh, this uh, scout, and also the scout down here, will show us where the next hearts are. Let's get going. And let's examine this as well. 14 hero points, and we got ourselves new gear. This one is uh, surely very nice. The um, I think they all are. Yeah, they all are. Currently equipped something with precision and condition damage and not something with power and ferocity. So I think I am going for... Yep, I'm going for the chest gear. Just because it has power in it. Makes my character even more scary. Let's go towards the tree first and then go towards the east further through this hole. Then I'll come across the zucchini as well. We'll discover the area. There we go. And not only discover the area, but also uh, go for the waypoint. Uh, the point of interest in the waypoint. Well, the point of interest must be right over here. It's a round table. With the representatives of all of the world. Don't know what they're doing over there, but... Ah, here he is. Let's go talk with the scout. There we go. There's peace talks going on in this area. Well, going up here is going to be the, the next uh, point then, to at least get these, uh, these peace talks going. It's something like uh, a United Nations, it seems. 
Well, not not really. It's across multiple uh, Nurse Lambert, where are you? Someone must have an antidote for that. Well, there's a quest here. Toxic antidotes. Soldiers, keep the camp safe. Discover spies and remove the wasps. Okay. Ah, wasps over there. Big camp. Nurse Lambert. There you are. And a dead person right next to him. Nice. And let's revive can revive the human player here then uh and that's great. That gave me a lot of experience. Oh you can go through the into the cave system here. Need to try that. Ooh, a lot of people over here. Ooh, why are there so many people over here? I like to see why. Well, renegade supplies. Toxic antidotes. Oh, and these must be brought towards this person outside. Ah, and that's the quest. Right. Uh, the event. That's it. Well. Hmm. That doesn't give you any experience. there. Well, if you're just killing that one, then... Uh to pick up some supplies right now because I also want this quest done. That gave me another waypoint. Just because I'm here, I need to make sure that I get those as well. I do need to take care of myself here. If I can help others, then that's great. But if I can do both, then that's even more fun. May Lissa be your news. And that's another few. Done. I got eight. It's probably going to lead into a next uh, event. 
from one into another one. So I might stick around a little while longer and see what happens. Well, I do like the fact that I'm already getting towards 56 now. And that the experience here is good. My damage is pretty good. Yeah, I'm starting to like my uh, predicament. Ooh, two. Well, let's just burn him. Trident. If you touch it first, and I can touch it after you, and we'll get another wasp. There we go. Now, my um, gear that I got, something that I wanted to view, um, I only have one rune of the Flame Legion, I think. It is a very good one. Yeah, I only have one, so it, it doesn't give me the second or the third effect. That's a shame. Uh, sell this at the trading post, that's done. And this one has toughness and vitality. It is way better than the one that I have, but it doesn't have the right effects on it. And the zucchinis can go into my bag. If I don't have to go here again, then that'll only be great. There we go! Almost 5,000 extra experience. There we go. That must be more contributed. Well, let's see if one of these bags is already recharged. Well, it doesn't seem to be. Well, at least uh, it's done. The event is done. We're counting down towards the next part. I don't know what the next part is, but uh, I'm going to stick around. I already did 25% of the daily Field of Ruin event completer. And this is going to be the second one. So that's 50%. I've no idea what these... Uh, points are called on this map. I haven't done this too much. At least this one is completed. It's another 4,000 of experience. Well, everyone was just sticking around and nothing was really happening, I think. Well, the nurse is going that way. We saved one. Hmm. Anticlimax. Well, let's move um, up there. And why do that? Well. There's at least one point of interest that I want to see on this side. 
if I can reveal a little bit more of the map, and this might be good as well. There we go. Now let's walk towards this end. Um, there is a vista on top of this one, on top of this mountain. I wonder how I'm going to get up there. I have an idea that it has something to do with this road. Well, let's move up here then and let's see how far we can go before we're halted. Well, that one was not triggered. Might be one of those mount mountains where you just well, there it is. Well, I can't walk on that part. I can walk on this part. Well, that is interesting. At least that one is obstructed. That's good. Can I move up this hill? Yes. Then I got towards this vista. There we go. It's where the planning uh, is at. No, it's a big camp. Cool camp. Looks cool. Let's move down there. And let's see what happens. Well, at least all of these guys give uh, experience towards uh, another quest. And there's a waypoint going on. Uh, an event going on. Was there something I can mine here? Or was it up the other ledge? I think it's up the other ledge, not here. Okay, let's move just back down here and then go into town. Repair the char mines. Well, I can repair mines. Reload the mine. Not able to reload the mine. Oh, I already reloaded it. Yeah, I already did it. Okay. Okay. That's the only thing you need to do. Just walk past them and they're reloaded. Okay, cool. What's this? Broken char... Mortar? More exploded ones. Well, if no one minds, then I just want to get in here and get the point of interest as well. The quest is almost done. Another suspicious rat. Beautiful thing about these guys is that they at least give something... Uh, something worthwhile. I 
I just reloaded that mine and the quest was already finished. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, what do we get? We got onions, we got a salvage item and we got bags. And it gives me new material to make something with. A chocolate bars, you don't get money many of those. At least that's m what I my experience is. So that's another point of interest. Done. Let's see what these guys give us. Um nope. All kinds of nope stuff. Otherworldly gear. Well, at least this this one gives me eight more power and gives me condition damage. Ceasefire agreement is nice. And because I'm getting many of these things, I'm just going to uh, actually get it. Yeah, I'm going to change it out with one of the ones I have, and that's going to be this one. The other world, the thing is finally moved out of here. We finally got something else. This one can be sold. And this one can be sold. Done and done. And then we have the undiscovered point of interest right in the lake. I think I'm going to make it two episodes of the Fields of Ruin event completer. This one is already going towards, um, I think, 50 minutes, yes. Something like that. Ooh. There you go. Sometimes a war just drops a gold item. Isn't that great? They also give a lot of secondary experience as well. Hidden cash. There's a lot to be gotten in this area. There we go. Eat the egg and gain swiftness. Well, I'm actually done here. Uh, let's go towards a safe spot. In this case, I'm going to choose this. And end this episode right here. Let's first go and look over the items that we got because we got some nice stuff we got a ravaging flame trident of earth it has pre precision and condition damage it doesn't have um, power but this one is so much more so much better than the one that I have right now that I am going to equip it because this is really an upgrade Yeah, this is really an upgrade. Yes, I am going to put it over there. And the skin is unlocked as well. Let's sell this one at the... That's the Trader's Hub. There we go. Done. Well, with that, and with the discovery process that I'm in, in the Fields of Ruin, I'd like to thank you for watching. Watching me trying to get to level 80 without dying. We already gained one level extra. And we are at level 55. Slash deaths is still zero. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And if you like the episode, please press the like button. And if you like to follow what I'm doing in this YouTube channel, then please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.